All right, in this episode, we talk about torsion and how difficult it is. And that, that's it. That's all. <laughs> torsion. What the hell is torsion? Brent Porcio, Adam Garcia, Kevin Schultz hiding back there, and Stephen Godana here at the at Top Philosophy hashtag Pitch and Tip Show, where you go to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you ask your question, anything on pitching or here at Top Velocity, at Top Velocity, hashtag Pitch and Tips, and we're gonna answer it on the episode. And if you can help us out to keep this show going, you can subscribe, like the page, share it with friends, um, and that would be awesome. What's the question for today? Brian Haverilla asks, how do you keep all your weight on your drive leg with torsion while also creating momentum into the load. Um, I, I like all these advanced questions, but these are really, really advanced. Uh, something I push into level three, but I'll let um, everybody get a, a little their input in on it. Um, you know, the, the hard thing to understand is that momentum initially has to come from you in your lift falling uh, into your load. And what is your load? That's the, the point where your back leg, your drive leg is linear, your force vector, your ankle to knee is linear meaning it's, it's in a direction that when you start to drive, it'll actually move you towards the plate and that you have some flexion in it. And that means we need weight on it. If we shift that weight off of it, it's not gonna be able to generate a lot of force and we're also gonna transfer energy early, which is going to affect velocity overall. So how to do that and maintain torsion, you really gotta just practice it and those are my torsion drills in level three. I developed um, these drills strictly for that. Actually, uh, there's a freebie one out there uh, because David Ardsma, a major league pitcher that came down here, um, the announcers at one of the Braves games uh, talked about him doing it in the bullpen. Uh, so I gave you a, one, of, one of the drills. There's a full series of them. I'll link it to this video. You can go watch the drill and learn it. But like I said, it's something we do as we advance into the program. Something If you're doing that up front, it's really going to be too hard of a learning curve from, for you. You need to come into the 3X programs or a 3X camp, and you need to start from the beginner and work your way into the Ace Pitcher Handbook and then you can work your way up there. But really the technique is, like I said, learning how to fall hips forward and down at the same rate to load that leg linear with flexion, with weight still on it, and you have to maintain torsion. And torsion is a twisting force in the knee, and that's where we turn the knee out. The knee actually stays turned out while you're falling through your hips. The problem is if you start pushing early, you will lose torsion. So in that process of moving from the lift to the load, it's a fall, not a drive. That's the only way you're gonna maintain torsion. Kevin, you wanna say something? Yeah, uh, a couple things about keeping torsion that I've come across that have helped me. All right, one is loading my, my back foot into the back arch instead of letting my foot roll to the inside arch from my back drive leg foot, okay? So when I... If I'm um, loading into that inside arch, what, what tends to happen is my groin wants to kick on and when my groin engages, that's going to internally rotate my knee a little bit. So that's also going to be a factor in losing some of that torsion. So what I like to use is I like to just kind of load my back outside arch from my foot and also I've experimented with using an arch support in my drive leg too, which has also helped a little bit. So those are two things that you can do. And then once you understand like where the weight distribution and stuff should be in the foot, then starting to do the torsion drills and stuff like that and having the power to get out of those is very difficult so that's something like brent said that you have to kind of advance into um and then one thing uh, a lot of guys miss out on they don't have the hip mobility and they lose torsion a lot by opening the front leg early so i like to try to use it like a sideways foot or a heel lead with my front leg to just kind of keep more torsion so um all right adam what do you think you haven't even gotten to this level yet so adam's not at this level yet but what do you think you're gonna prepare for and, and when you can get into a lateral position we can, we can work into our loads and how do we get better loads out of our back leg and get more torsion? What are the things that you think would help you do that better than how you're doing it now? 
Um, honestly, just a lot of lifting because um, I actually don't have a lot of power in my legs right now, which is um, what we're developing. Obviously, you see uh, someone lifting in the weight room and I'm about to go lift out for this episode. But Right, that'd be awesome. I think that's a great point. I'm, it's strength, and it's the reason in my level three, I say you have to have a 1.3 power to weight ratio until you can do the program because I don't see guys having a lot of success with torsion, a lot of success with really understanding a good load in your back leg if you don't have, if you can't clean 130% of your body weight. You can't squat two times your body weight. I just don't see that happening. Um, and and that's, that's a great point from Adam. I mean, what about you? Do you see guys? Oh yeah, no, when they don't have the strength, there's two things. They don't have the strength and their focus is way off. So if, if your focus is all in your hand and you try to get that front shoulder going early, you're gonna lose torsion right away. And then having the necessary strength to actually be able to sit and load in that leg and let yourself work down the mound with all the weight in your back foot and still be able to transfer that weight to your toe and get the right push while you're keeping torsion. There's a lot to it. And it takes a tremendous amount of strength and the motor coordination and that's all things that we're doing down here and learning. So, yeah. Yeah, and so say that. So what are the things you feel in trying to do that now that you don't feel like you have that leg strength? What do you feel is the challenge for someone trying to do that but doesn't have the leg strength and power? Well, it's just the fact that when you actually get in your stride and you sit down that leg, if you don't have the leg power to actually get down and get in the linear drive, you're going to have no drive in your back leg. You're not going to push towards home plate and have no power whatsoever. Yeah, so it doesn't matter how well you're loading it. If you can't get out of that position, then it's of no use. It's, it's, you're wasting your time. And sitting in there in the drill over and over and over again, it's just frustrating. Well, right? you should be in the weight room. Get right. Down. It's not that you can you stop throwing, but the point is, is don't put a lot of reps into those drills if you just don't have the leg power. It needs to be a big emphasis in your, in your lifting, and that's why that's a big part of our programs. Good point. What do you think? Uh, the only real thing I, I'll, I'll say on the torsion, because they covered it pretty well, is um, when you're um, um, lifting, uh, like doing a heavy squat, like uh, getting the torsion in your legs before you go into the lift, like not only does it help you in your lift, but it also kind of helps you get an idea of how to use that torsion in your uh, pitching delivery too. Because when you're, when you're squatting heavy, you're, before you go down to squat, you tighten everything up, you tighten up your core, you tighten up your butt, and then you start getting torsion before you start going down. So that's another thing. Uh, for, that's a great. Why don't you make that comment about Strowman? I think that's what he was kind of doing. Oh yeah, and then uh, uh, another one was um, Marcus Stroman on the uh, Blue Jays. I was watching him pitch the other day, and he was he kind of before every time before he'd come set, he'd get his sign, he'd come in, and he'd pull everything back like this. And uh, we think that he was kind of getting some torsion in his leg at, when he was doing that. And then I kind of think he was trying to feel some separation between his um, yeah. uh, his shoulders and his hip. And but at the same time, it was helping him get torsion too. So he would he would come in, kind of pull everything back, and then come set. All right, and I want to throw something in there. When I'm in my stretch, I like to sit here, and then as I come set, I almost kind of put that leg into like a torsion state, just like you were talking about before I squat. So when I'm here and I come to set into my, my set position in my uh, stretch, I kind of put my knee into a torsion state. So if I'm doing slide step or anything, I'm right there already in that torsion state where I can kind of roll that knee. I almost roll that knee and get that torsion right there set. So I'm here and then I roll back and I kind of put my zipper on my back toe and then my knee is in a better state. And what I was saying by that groin coming in, if you do this, your groin turns on, that's internally rotating your knee. You've lost torsion here. You're no longer in a, a, a joint alignment, so you're losing the position to drive from. So, like we said, keeping that torque back, trying to hold that zipper back, and then getting into that good load, and it's just gonna take you a lot of strength. There's a lot to it, but that's just some tips for try to get into it if you can. Yeah. Um I, you know, all those guys do that. Actually, someone um, on Twitter sent me a, that, that clip of Tim Linscombe where when he went rotational, which same thing, I believe that's to get torsion in the leg. That's to feel hip to shoulder separation. When he went rotational on his lift and then he moved forward, or actually no, when he went rotational on his lift, he actually, his foot kicked off the rubber and he fell over. Um, so someone had actually asked, is that the concept of torsion? Is that what Tim Linscombe's trying to do? Yeah, most of those pitchers, when they get a little little counter rotation into their lifts. That's what they're trying to do. A little, little towards in the leg, tightening the leg down. At the same time too, if that's all you do, that's just not going to do it. If I'm just lifting and twisting, I'm just going to probably want to fly open and that means I'm losing torsion. So as much as, yeah, you can do a little lift and counter rotate, you then have to understand how we load it from there so we don't lose it immediately, which could very easily happen if you're over counter rotating uh, into your leg lift. So like we said, this is an advanced component that uh, you don't want to address up front in your delivery if you haven't mastered things like 
uh, where you haven't gotten strong enough, like Adam said, or powerful enough in your lower half. You don't have good mobility, like like Kevin said, um, and um, you you know, and, and even technically, like Stephen was saying, in your lifts, you haven't really mastered the tech the technical movement or the technical position of torsion. Uh, you don't want to try to push that into your delivery. That's that's really the last place it goes. Um, so there's things that need to be accomplished, like just learn, basically first learning how we, we, we build power in the lower half and then how we convert that in hip shoulder separation. That needs to be addressed first. I always say learn this delivery in reverse. If you learn it in the forward, going forward down the delivery, it's kind of putting the cart before the horse because then you're going to teach yourself to put power into your delivery before you understand how to convert it because front foot strike is the conversion of that power. That needs to be learned first. So I don't recommend you going into torsion up front and something that needs to come at the end and that's why we put it in level three so that was a good question so um you know something i haven't I haven't brought up before if uh if you guys are interested in in our velocity programs go check them out our 3x velocity programs uh we've got our beginners to our uh, extreme all the way to our camp coming down here and training with us um actually going through the tra uh, camp and actually staying for 3x training um, you, you have that option so check that out at topvelocity.net also, look at all our 2X programs. We have 2X programs for position players and taking these throwing mechanics into position players and catchers. All right, so um, if you got a question for us, go to uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, at Top Velocity, uh, hashtag Picture Tips. Ask your question, and we're going to answer it on the next episode. So. Boys.